when one offers prayers, obeisances, and other gifts to Srima Narayana. Uh, do, those, do those respect, honor, and satiate the devas by proxy, like watering the roots of a tree. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Indeed, Krishna himself, or at least the, the Srimad Bhagavatam itself, actually does indeed say this. It gives this exact example. For individuals who are conversant with the Vedic scriptures, who are followers of Prabhupada, other great acharyas, we have actually heard this uh, example given many, many times, that God is like the root of the tree. All other beings are like the, uh, the leaves, the twigs, the branches, etc. of the tree. And if you want all beings to benefit, you take water, you put it at the very root of the tree. In the same way, indeed, when we offer directly to God, then in actuality, all the lesser gods and goddesses also are satiated. So indeed, this is one more reason why it is important to always recognize the difference between God on the one hand, gods and goddesses on the other. While we respect all of the above, we don't see them as the same. <clears throat> They're not equal. No one. Nothing in this material world is equal. Equality is a myth. So we understand that they're different, but at the same time, we honor them all. We honor the gods and goddesses. We honor God, but we understand that it is in going to the source, going to the root, that indeed all beings are benefited, including the gods and goddesses. So this is why we offer our obeisances first and foremost at the feet of Sriman Narayana and of all of his avatars, such as Bhagavan, Shri Krishna, Rama, Kalki, etc., etc.